Today, I wanted to vlog and bring you guys along with me on my little day. I wanted to bring you guys along with me, do a little get ready with me, a little vlog, just talk to y'all, catch up, update. It's a new year, it's 2023. I already have my bed made. I woke up at like 8 a.m. My sister actually called me to tell me that we were under a tornado watch. I mean, a tornado was on the loose. I've lived here all my life, so tornadoes don't scare me at all. Like, I'm not scared of tornadoes because nine times out of 10, if there's a tornado watch, it just goes away. Except for that one time out of 10, your house gets destroyed. I was just kind of, you know, awake. Wouldn't want to be sleeping and a tornado crashed in my home, so. I at least woke up and was just aware of the weather advisory going on. Also, y'all, I threw a little kickback at my house. It was the first thing ever. I'm from the city. Let me talk to y'all real quick because you might be like, bro, you're tripping. Like, where's your routine? I thought you had a routine. What kind of routine is this? You're not even doing anything. And that's true. I'm really struggling with like finding a routine that works for me and sticking to it because the course of my life just keeps changing. Like I was just on break, didn't really have a routine for break. I wanted one so I could be still productive with my days and stuff, but the break is over. School, it's, not, it's time for school. So now I really don't have a routine because I have to learn my schedule and, but I just know how important routines are and how beneficial they can be. And one thing I just cannot do is get a routine and stick to it. So that's why this video isn't a routine. It's just a vlog because I am struggling when it comes to actually having a routine. Like I'm walking around my house with no goal. So yeah, like I was saying, there's basically no routine happening over here, but there needs to be. I'm gonna work on that. I think we should, however, start the day off with trying to just make a plan of this. the day and I didn't really do that because I kind of planned the day last night I just wanted to address my thoughts I literally could feel my mind racing I feel like I make sense now it's so hard like having a brain that just cannot focus on one thing like I'm trying to record right now but the ability to focus right now it's not ability I kind of have to force myself to be a little more focused right now but at least I'm aware of it because being aware that I'm just not in a focus mood for real is like 90% of the work because I would literally turn this into a mental breakdown like I'll be like well what's going on I just don't feel like doing this like blah 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 when really I'm just having a hard time focusing on one step like welcome to ADHD this is what's gonna help though like I said I didn't really plan the day out I need to I'm opening my handy um iPad this doesn't have to be fancy I don't really I'm not gonna do nothing crazy this like just having this to be like what task do i have to put my brain on next it's the in between where i get lost like once i'm in the task and i'm in the flow i can flow i can do it but the transition one task to the next i will get so lost like this will help oh guys after school i have a lash appointment and a nail appointment so i can stop looking so crusty but for real for real i just wanted to get these appointments because this is like the first day of school and i'm really taking classes this semester last semester i took two classes i was only up there twice a week I just have to shower i already opened my blinds and journal gonna grab a team shirt have a shower, pick a fire outfit, have some breakfast, get ready for the day. Then I gotta go to school, ew. And after school, I have an eyelash appointment and a nail appointment. So, who's gonna be crusty? Not me. I really wish I could get my hair done, but I don't have like a solid hairstylist where I could be like, hey girl, can I book? Are you free? You got any openings? Like I, everywhere I go, it's about, it's like something I don't really like about it, about my hair at the end. So I'm not gonna do my hair, I'm not gonna get my hair done. I'm just gonna do my normal lash appointment and get my nails done, which we're gonna have to like bless these nails, like pray over them and like sanctify them, whatever that means. I'm sorry, every time I get nails, I break them and they hurt so bad. And it always happens every time, but not this time. 
The one thing about entertaining people is that you have to clean up after. Oh, oh, oh. And I like a clean house. I just don't like to clean. You feel me? Y'all, I'm hungry, but I do not like eating breakfast. If I have somewhere to go, like I have to get ready first because with my inability to focus on something, I will get so stuck in breakfast and be late to wherever I have to be. So that's why I have to get ready first, then have breakfast because worst case scenario, I just will miss breakfast. I have to do my priorities first, even though my priority is to eat every day because I'm trying to be healthy and eat three meals a day like a, a human, okay? Especially breakfast. Breakfast is just hard, so, and it's the most important meal of the day and so important to me because I'm really trying to get ahead of my diet, especially for 2023. I want my diet to not even be a diet, but I just wanna eat. My last appointment is like 15 minutes after my last class ends. And I don't know how I'm gonna make it, but my sister's last appointment is a half hour after that. So I might just have to take her lash appointment. Yeah, I have to take her lash appointment, maybe. So I can make it to my class and my appointment on time. If you guys don't know already, I did my room, finally decorated it and made it what I want. If you wanna check out that video, make sure you click on the link in the description box because I had so much fun with that video. And if you wanna see a full, you know, what my room looks like, even though I'm showing you, just go watch the video. Looks like now I have to take a shower. Ah. Guys, I love my bathroom. Like, I had my own bathroom when I was at living in my parents' house. I had my own bathroom connected to my room. It was nice, it was gas, but something about my own bathroom that belongs to me, I love it. It's so nice in here to get ready and make it a vibe, I love it. My little routine. So I usually just come over here, even though know, the water's on and it's so loud, I just come over here and grab a pair of gloves. We'll go with this color. I don't know why, but this color is just so nice. It's so deep. Oh, I will usually get a towel from here, but they're all in the dryer. Like I promise, it, it, it's so satisfying. It's usually so satisfying when everything I need is already in my bathroom, folded up nice and neat. It's just, I'm behind on the chores, so. Mm. In case you wanted to know what I clean my booty with, pure Castile soap. I do dilute this a little bit, but look, I've used this whole thing. shower actually made me feel really good I feel really clean and I was jamming my dad got me this speaker for Christmas oh my gosh this speaker is so nice it's so loud I literally use it everywhere I'm in a good mood because I just listen to some good music and music is always gonna make me feel better if I'm in a bad mood um it's so weird guys like living alone is crazy like sometimes I'll be here at the house and I'll be like heck yeah I love living alone like who else would I rather be around other than me the whole time? Like, sometimes I go through like, I'll just be really happy that I'm by myself. I'm in this place, like, I wanted this for so long and now I have it, right? So I'll just be so happy. And then other times, I'll just be so bored. And so I'll feel lonely, but like, I'm not alone, I have myself. I think it's all part of the journey of feeling comfortable by myself and alone and loving myself and Music definitely helps put me in a good mood and it helps like the house not be so quiet because I hate when it's just so quiet. <laughs> Bruh, 
before I put on my outfit of the day and leave the house, not even leave the house, but before I decide on my outfit, sometimes I'll pick my outfit out before, but before I wear it and leave the house with it, I can't put it on and then do my makeup and my hair. I have to do my makeup and my hair and then put the outfit on. Because I will think the outfit is garbage, but really my makeup and my hair is just not done. I was gonna do a slick bag, but I hate slick bags because it just requires so much gel. And I hate like, I hate so roughly brushing my hair and like straightening out my curls because you just can't, you just can't be good for my hair. I, at least not that often. So I'm gonna just throw it in a bun. I also feel like when I used to wear buns all the time, my hair was a little healthier. I don't wanna wear a bun today. So I'm hesitant to start doing my hair. But I know I have to put it in a bun because when I go get my lashes done, if I have my hair like in a back ponytail, like a low ponytail, laying down and feeling this scrunchy drill itself into my head is so annoying. Every time I sit in the chair and I have a low ponytail, like midway through, I'll be like, hold on, can I take my hair out? And I'll just take my hair out and look like this in her chair because it literally hurts. So yeah, I think the bun is best. Oh, the reason why I stopped doing buns is because I cut all my hair off. And yeah, it was just hard to fit my hair to a bun. And then the buns were so small and they used to be so big. I want to look nice today, but I feel like I can't yet. I have to wait till after my appointments. Even though like lashes and nails does not define our beauty. Look, look at this. These lashes do not define your beauty, sis. Oh my God, want to shine his light on me right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the ADHD is like booming really loud right now. I, I, I can't even do my hair. It's why, why? But you see, once I make myself aware, we can get back on track. So now that I have like the structure, I'm gonna put this in a ponytail, right? But I'm not gonna put it in the bun. I have to do my edges first. Is this OCD? Bro, <laughs> like, it doesn't matter, but it does. So regardless of this bun, cause I might take it out and do it all over again. I just have to do my, I just have to do my edges first. Cause that will define the bun I do. Sometimes I'll be having to use my adult ass hairs for my edges because a lot of them are just way too short to not be edges. But do y'all just have like in between? Like this is way too long to be some edges, but it's too short to be some hair. So what, what are you? I got so much good feedback from my room video and a lot of good ideas. You guys put a bunch of good ideas in the comments of like what I should add to my room. So. I really want to do like a video where I just kind of take your suggestions and add it to my room. See how much of a vibe, how much of a, how much of a vibe we can make. It. This hairstyle usually eats when I have my lashes done. Like, it looks cute. I don't look like a kid, but this was like my go-to hairstyle from my life from ages eight. I mean not eight, from grades eight to now. Um, I don't do the hairstyle. I just put my hair in a bun, but I used to literally wear a bun like every day. So I really was tired of people associating my face with that bun on my head. So I stopped wearing a bun. Like I never wore one from senior year to like now. I like tried to not put a bun on my head because I didn't like it anymore. And now I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it again. I don't know. This can't just be me. I don't have like, I have like three hairstyles in my queue. In my queue? In my inventory. <laughs> I got like three hairstyles in my inventory, bro. Okay, so the sun is really in my face right now, but I'm trying to do some edging. I'm trying to edge my lawn. All right, I'll be back when this side is done. It looks good enough. Honestly, this is like a presentable hairstyle. I can leave the house and be like, I don't look garbage. Next, I almost did a slick back. I'm so glad I didn't. Bro, the work it took me to do this bun versus what it would have taken me to part this down the middle and through all of my curls, my hair definitely was healthier when I was wearing bun. It's currently winter and 
I don't know what color my face is in the winter. So my normal concealer that I usually use, it's a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, is too dark. So I don't know what to do. I have like literally just not been wearing any kind of concealer and just been rocking my raccoons because this doesn't match my eyes. I'm gonna try to put a little bit on though. I used to be so insecure about my eyes, you guys, but then I just started realizing that they're not going anywhere. And then I was just like, well, better get comfy. People always think I'm tired. No. I just came out the womb with some crazy ass eyes. Really what it is, is the skin under my eyes is thinner than the rest of the skin on my face. So, I don't know why I used to be so insecure about that. But I'm really getting over it step by step. I mean, day by day. Oh. I'm less insecure about it now than I ever, ever was. I used to like not be able to leave the house unless I had some concealer under my eye. You know what though? That was my mother, but don't put that in the video. Okay. A really light layer of that concealer blend blended in really well. But when I did too much, y'all, it was just orange. So y'all know the, the makeup routine is just concealer and eyebrows. And that's it. When I learned how to do some actual makeup, <laughs> maybe there will be more to my makeup routine but until that day and i really want to like get into makeup i got this fenty pr package y'all rihanna mm -mm, she went off she literally sent in that package this freaking pro filter soft match foundation i don't know if they just guessed on my skin so i don't know what this looks like i haven't tried it or anything but they sent that they sent some of this and some of this. And this brush. Ooh. And that was just so crazy to me because I was just talking to my mom about how I really wanted to just, you know, dabble in makeup just to be a girl. I don't know. <laughs> but I was talking to my mom about just dabbling in makeup and then randomly I got this Fenty Beauty PR package. I was like, this is perfect. I can practice doing my makeup and yeah I just never was a makeup girl like I never watched the YouTube tutorials on the makeup videos I never did that Here is my little outfit. I'm definitely gonna probably put on my mocha ones with this fit. Ooh, not gonna lie, these would be fire too. Oh, I need to get my backpack. <laughs> Nothing in this old backpack is related to school, so I have to empty it. It's a strawberry in here. Of course, I feel like I haven't, like I feel like I'm not prepared for the first day of school. I may take today to do that with you guys, of course. And even though I will be already a day in, I could be prepared for the next day. I'm gonna definitely need my computer. Oh, I didn't even charge my computer, y'all. As you could tell, like I'm not ready. Every day in college, the only thing I actually need is my computer or my iPad, but I like to bring my computer with me. It's just now that I'm realizing it, I don't have a computer sleeve. I think it's at my parents' house. I'm not gonna lie, this is literally like all I take to school. Just a computer. And like my phone and I have to have headphones. If you're a student and like headphones is not number one on your priority list, are you actually a student? 
I have to have headphones. And if I forget my headphones, it's a bad day. Don't talk to me. Get some shoes. I've got to clean out my closet, y'all. This is just ridiculous. What if I left the house in these? All right, we got to go. I don't have much time, but I need to eat something. Let me get a spritz. Bro, it's so weird leaving for school, but leaving from my house, like what? I was gonna be like a little chef and boil some eggs because that's really the only way I like to eat my eggs, but 14 minutes to boil some eggs sounds like some time I don't have. So we're just gonna go with the Jamaican patty. Two minutes in the microwave. Can't beat that. I think instead of taking y'all with me to school, I'm gonna take you guys with me to my appointments because school's just so boring. What? But for real, it's the first day and I would just feel so awkward recording. <laughs> so I definitely wanna like just get a feel for the classes, try to get into a routine, and then y'all can come with me to school. You're coming with me to my appointments, that's for sure. Honestly, my breakfast is so sad today. But when you're in a rush, you're in a rush, okay? So we're just gonna eat this. It's honestly better than nothing. And these Jamaican patties, I love these things. Like, they're so good. I listen to music so much more than I used to. Because I could really just feel so comfortable playing the music in my house as loud as I want, you know? Alright guys, I am back. I'm in a rush. I wish I wasn't. I'm kind of rush, but I'm here at the place. But it's time for me to walk in. School was chill. Not really, but I almost stepped in the biggest pile of mud. I love getting my lashes. Like this is the ultimate day for me. car well it's not my car i'm back in the car my sister's still in there getting her lashes done but she should be done soon she needs to hurry up because my nail appointment is in an hour and it's across the city so she needs to hurry up but i'm just redoing this bun because it's looking a little hurt i'm gonna show y'all the nails i'm gonna get done today you tell me you tell me if these are the nails i'm gonna get done today i really just wanted to do a pink and white um here's these ones those are so cute i just don't know if they could do this style if they can't I'm gonna do these, cause these are cute too. And then I have these, which are just simple. All right, I just got back, except I'm about to leave because, guys, it's four o'clock. I literally have 30, point, 30 minutes to get to my appointment. Fortunately, I have to rush, but I can't speak. I literally saw like so many cops just now, like an unbelievable amount. So I went in there, it's 4.43, I went in there. This literally happens to me every time. I'm trying to learn not to have any reactions to anything and not feel a type of way, just, you know, chill in my car, you know. Can't do me at 4.30, even though that was the time of my appointment. That's okay. I was just vibing the car. I didn't look, I just was like, 
okay, yeah, that's fine. And I turned around and went back to the car. I'm hungry though. So I, I'm literally was like, I will go get some food out of that place. Cause I'm so hungry. But I wanna save my um, appetite. Is that what it means? I don't know. I wanna not eat because I wanna eat dinner that I have at home that I was gonna cook, but I'm hungry. Oh Lord, why is somebody else talking to him? Another customer. I don't understand what the appointment system is for. Finally, I'm out the nail salon. I know the camera is crooked. These people looking at me, but I couldn't care less. Look at the nails. Look at the nails. I actually think he did a really good job. Like they're they're super cute. I like them. And now that I have my nails done and my lashes, like I finally feel whole. Anyways, this Chipotle specifically is right next to my school. Not right next to, but everybody from my school comes here. And school just started, people just got back. So from here, that line is so long. Like I don't, there's no way my order is gonna be ready at 6.50. It's 6.50 right now. I'll be waiting 15 minutes max. I mean, at least before I go on. Facing the daylight, wasting time in the stars in the sky. Anyways, I'm gonna go get my Chipotle, then we're going home to eat it. Y'all, I'm actually so upset right now, it's not even funny. I went in there to get my food. Whole time I didn't order it. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Whatever. All right, I'm home. And I'm a little bit tight because I wanted to be home with food and I wanted to go upstairs and eat it. However, every time I enter my house, I'm happy because I like my house. All right, y'all, so I just now made it home. It's dark in here. I'm tired. So you guys, let me show you my nails in some real life. They look really good. I really like them. They're definitely longer than I've like ever done them before, but I just better not break them. That's it, that's all I know. These was a hundred bucks. Get you your Hawaiian rolls and your ground beef. All right, y'all, so all you're gonna need to make these, this is like my favorite game day snack. But all you need is savory butter rolls. Get you some ground beef, salt, pepper, garlic powder and onion powder, and then I just have some Worcestershire sauce. I'm no joke. I found this on TikTok, so. And it was actually really good, I'm not gonna lie. It was so good when I had it, but. Let's cook. Oh, you're gonna need butter too, and cheese. You won't eat all of these though. I have my little sliders in the oven right now um, just to get nice and warm and let the cheese melt and everything marinate all together. I honestly just put it on there for 255, but it doesn't matter. Just heat it up, throw it in. And now that I can see my cheese is melting, I'm gonna just grab it. I'm so hungry right now, it's not even funny. I'm gonna give y'all a taste test and then I'm gonna go eat and get on with the day. Well, my evening. Cause I just feel like I was tested so much today. Really, it's just when it comes to food while I'm hungry. Mm -mm. But let's go ahead and try these sliders, give it a taste test. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Now that I know my dinner's a success, I actually have something to eat for the night. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me and coming along to my nail appointment and my lash appointment. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the post notification bell. Hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.